Hey everybody, it's Underdog. It's Friday, February 16th. Get ready to head up to uh, Springer Mountain tomorrow. And um, I'll be starting my trip the next day on Sunday, February 18th. So I just wanted to do a short little uh, preview on what I'm going to be putting in my pack starting this Sunday. Alrighty guys, here you go. Alrighty, first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm packing everything in a uh, Z-Pax Arc Hall. And I picked that pack up a couple weeks ago, and um, I was going to go ahead and I was going to uh, use the uh, HMG uh, Hyperlite uh, Wind Rider, but I decided I got this pack and actually tried it, and I'll tell you what, it, it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more comfortable, and um, I'm, I'm really digging it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock this. I got a little green bandana on there. I got my Purell. I got my bottle holder. And down there, I got a little uh, uh, whistle. That's uh, the windstorm whistle. And I'll tell you what, that whistle is louder than all get out. So uh, if you're looking for a good, uh, like, emergency whistle or what have you, uh, that, that, that's a pretty good whistle. Um, next up is going to be my Marmot Plasma 15 uh, mummy bag. So I'll be packing up that up with me. I love that bag. And then I'll be spending a couple months in the uh, Z-Pax uh, duplex tent. Also, too, I'm taking a Thermarest uh, Z-Lite uh, sleeping pad. And then I'm also taking a Neo Air X-Lite. Um, I was going to cut the uh, Thermarest uh, foam pad. I was going to cut that into a seat, but I decided not to. I'm basically going to use that uh, to put under that... Um, uh, air mattress in the shelters whenever I'm in a shelter uh, just to kind of keep away from the splinters and everything like that but uh, I'm, I may send that uh, Thermarest uh, pad back uh, maybe after the Smokies also too I'm taking my uh, titanium cook pot I got a bandana in there I'll have uh, my butane uh, canister I'll have the Snow Peak. Whoops, sorry. I'll have the Snow Peak um, cook stove with my little mini bic. Also, too, I'll be using Cnoc titanium um, core handled uh, trekking poles. And then for my uh, filtration system, I'll be using the uh, Cnoc uh, one liter bags along with the Sawyer. Uh, the Sawyer squeeze. I use the um, uh, tornado tube on mine. You have to cut that tube to actually uh, get it to fit on the Sawyer squeeze, but it ain't no de uh, big deal. You take like a finger length uh, uh, cut on that tube and it fits perfect. But in that mesh bag, that's where I keep all my water filtration. I got another bandana and then I got a uh, Ziploc garbage bag in there. So this is the kit that I'm going to start with on top of Springer this coming Sunday. And let me go ahead and move you guys along to uh, my clothing system. All right, guys, underdog back with my uh, clothing system. I um, forgot to mention I'll be carrying a spot. And also, too, I have a Sea to Summit uh, sleeping bag liner um, that I failed to mention in my, uh, in my uh, previous kit. But uh, here's my clo clothing system. Uh, this is what I'm going to be uh, starting off uh, wearing every day. It's uh, up top is a pair of uh, Colombian convertible pants. Next is a Patagonia uh, base layer hoodie, uh, long sleeve um, base layer uh, shirt. Next is just a uh, regular kind of um, uh, moisture wicking uh, shirt from Walmart. The same thing with my uh, wicking underwear from Walmart. A uh, pair of um, Dirty Girl uh, gaiters from uh, my sister for from Christmas. A pair of Darn Tough socks with uh, Fox River uh, liners. Well, that's the uh, system that I'm going to be starting off with um, just uh, hiking every day. Next is uh, going to be my uh, sleep, sleep kit. Up top, I got a, a long pair of thermals. 
I got another pair of uh, just jogging shorts. I got a pair of uh, the uh, dry wicking uh, underwear from Walmart. Then I have a Patagonia 3 base layer shirt. I have a dry wicking shirt. I have a Mountain Hardware uh, puffy jacket. I have the Enlightened booties. I have a pair of uh, wool mittens and a pair of uh, gifted muckluck, uh, very warm and toasty socks. And yes, I know I am overkilling it on the clothes, but the only thing, I think Mr. Uh, Walker Big Bird said it best, you probably pack your fears. I don't fear the cold, I respect the cold. <laughs> hey, I'm a Florida boy, hey, and I like being warm. I don't mind being chilly, but I'll tell you what, uh, most of this will probably go back after... Um, uh, the Smokies, but I tell you what, I don't want to have to come off the mountain just because it's cold. Now, if it's freezing cold, where I mean, I, I, I you know, I got to come off. You know, you, you make the right, you make the right choices. But um, hey, I'll bundle up in a tent, and uh, I think I got more than plenty to keep myself. Well, I'll probably look like the Michelin man, but uh, hey, but I'll be warm. Uh, but here, here's my secondary hiking kit. Um, it's just another uh, dry wicking shirt. It's another uh, Walmart special underwear, pair of darn tough socks, Fox River liners. These are my uh, copper fit um, uh, calf compression sleeves, along with some uh, ankle support uh, 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 sleeves. Also, too, this is a Rab uh, um, uh, Puffy. It's uh, actually synthetic. Uh, it's not um, down. So I'll, I'll use this when I'm hiking. And like I said, after the Smokies, I'll go ahead and I'll send that, um, I'll send that Mountain Hardware uh, jacket back because I'd hate to get that thing wet. But this is going to be my cold weather. I got a pair of uh, thrift store gloves. They were 3 bucks. They're uh, actually waterproof too, so that was right on. That's another pair of uh, Walmart special gloves. There are my deck shell um, uh uh, water socks. I can't wait to use those. That's a pair of uh, ex officio um, uh, long johns. Uh, patches. My niece got those from somebody and they didn't want them, so hey, I, I grabbed them. That's uh, my hunting baklava uh, from Mossy Oak. It's a fleece, so I'll use that. And then for my rain system, uh, I was kind of iffy. Uh, I actually uh, have the Marmot pre sip jacket. I took it out of my kit um, and I put it back in. You know, I'm just going to take it just in case, but I'll probably send that back uh, chop chop because I really like this. Um, I really like this snug pack uh, enhanced patrol poncho, and I'm, I'm I can't wait to do a review on that. I got that. It's an overseas company over in UK, and um, and a poncho is awesome. It it, it it's it's a uh, it's long sleeved. First of all, most uh, ponchos are only like uh, halfway down. They're not even sleeved. Um, it has a great hood on it, hood system. It zips all the way up. It has, um, it has a pouch in the front where you can go ahead and put your hands. And then also, too, it has another zip lock, or not a zip, uh, or a, a Velcro pouch where you can put something also. But um, it covers your pack. Um, you can also use it as a pack liner and just, uh, I've tied it around my pack and done it that way. But I'm hoping just to go ahead and use the uh, poncho, and then I'm going to ditch this uh, Marmot uh, pre-sip uh, rain jacket. Uh, I got a pair of rain pants. That's my uh, thrift store find, too. That's my, um, what do you call that guy, uh, MC Hammer uh, rain pants right there. So a shout-out to uh, Bobby Brown. I guess that's uh, MC Hammer. But um, uh, I got those. I'll probably ditch those to uh, ASAP. And then uh, just in the mail the other day, I got my micro spike. So just in case, you know what, I'll probably get rid of them after the Smokies. But you know what, hey, it, it's better to have than have not. So um, so that's my clothing system right there. Like I said, I know I'm heavy. I'm going to uh, drop a lot of stuff after the Smokies. But um, like I said, I, I hate to come down off the mountain just because it was really just cold. Now, if, if it's... If it's an emergency cold, that's a different thing. But I'd rather just hunker down in my tent, 
you know, put some clothes on and do that. But um, that's what I'll be packing. All right. And that is it for my clothing system. All right, next up is going to be my electronics, my toiletries, and maybe a couple uh, just odds and ends. All right, I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, next up is going to be my electronics, my toiletries, and a couple little perk items. All right, first up is going to be uh, my um, little trash compactor bag. I'll uh, line that in my uh, arc haul. Then my uh, part of my electronics, I have... Um, like a little uh, weatherproof uh, case for my phone if I want to uh, uh, video or take pictures in the rain. I got one of those little gorilla stands, whatever you call them. I'll probably get rid of that. I probably ain't going to haul that around. I got a little uh, mount for my phone to hold that. I got the stick pick. I got the uh, black diamond uh, spot, I believe it is. I got a pair of headphones. I got the RAV Power. Uh, battery portable battery charger and I got a dual port um, uh, Charging system with the cord so for my electronics. That's basically it right there Next up is gonna be my food bag. That's three days of food right there starting off. I got my massage roller. I Got a uh, little coffee cup perk item. I Got my tenacious tape and little repair kit in that little uh, bag to the right and these are just a couple little bags. That's my little wallet. And that's my little uh, pouch bag I'll keep up front on my, uh, on my pack. Next. Yeah, everybody suckered me into a pillow, but I'm, gonna be pro I'm, I'm probably going to be glad I got one. So that's a Sea to Summit, the large pillow. So, uh, yeah, you, you guys suckered me, but uh, I'm probably going to be thanking you at the end. So thank you up front. <laughs> That's my little, uh, I'm not getting out of the tent at 2 o'clock when it's 20 degrees. That's my toothpaste, my toothbrush, a couple band-aids, a little TP action, and a couple bags of uh, M&Ms and some uh, pain meds. But basically that's it for, um, for toiletries and electronics. I don't carry much on that. You know, if you guys see something I need, let me know, because I'm, I'm pretty light on that. All right, guys, so basically that's it for my kit. I appreciate you guys watching. I leave tomorrow morning, headed to uh, Atlanta. I'll be at Amicalola uh, tomorrow afternoon, and I'll be starting uh, dark and early, nice and fresh, Sunday morning. All right, guys, gals, everybody in YouTube land, hey, underdog, I'm out.